Big perch. Big perch. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Logan, thanks for watching. So, if this place looks familiar, that's because we were just out here, I don't know, a week or so ago. But this time, we're with my man, Ant, Anthony from Fishing With Friends, he's right over there. I don't know if you guys can see him. But uh, we're gonna be doing much of the same. So hopefully some perch, maybe get a Xander or two this time. But uh, we're starting off exactly how we did last time. We're gonna be fishing for perch right along this break. This is a break right here. It's a plateau, and it gets break and it gets real deep. The water level is low again, just like it was last time. If you guys did not watch that video, you guys can go watch it. I caught some good perch, pike, Xander, so you guys can check that out. But we are hopefully on the spot. The water level is a little bit lower than it was last time, so I'm hoping they're still here. The perch are still holding here. So we're about to find out. We're going to anchor here and cast up this way along the plateau. And like I said, it gets a, there's a deep break right here. We're going to hit fish along that deep break, so let's get to it. I'm sorry, dude. Okay. Oh, I just got bumped. Guys, I just got a head of hit. Something real light. Something real light just hit me, guys. Something real light just hit me. Boom, boom. All right, guys, we're moving spots. Yeah, we're gonna move over here to another, another spot over to the shelf where it goes. So on the last video I did out here recently, caught some good perch over here, a couple pike. So, hoping for a similar result. Let me see if I can spot this. Okay, right over there. That's where we're headed, right there. Okay. Where is it? Right, right. Come over by me. I'm, I'm going to drop anchor too because I want to hold this spot. Is it on your right or your left? It's both. Because what it, what it is is... What it is is... is um, there's a plateau here and there's a plateau there. Okay, so and there's a, and it gets, deep in, but, and it gets deep in between. Alright guys, so in this spot, there's a hole. It runs this way, a channel rather, and it's deep here, and then it comes up, and there's a plateau here, and there's a plateau on this side over here. So, Anthony and I are gonna pass along these plateaus and hopefully get some fish. This is where I caught, I don't know if you guys watched the video last time, this is where I caught a couple perch, a couple pike. So, casting this way in this direction is hopefully where they're holding. So right out here is a plateau. There's okay. a channel that runs this way, and then there's another plateau over here. Come on, behind us, behind us. Fish. Fish? Yeah. Fish, boys. The load's already on. Right at this new spot. It's a little pike, I believe. Pike? Yeah, a little one. Dink. Smallest pike ever, but it's a fish. Logan's got it. Alright, well, I guess that counts. So we got a little pike here, boys. So right on that plateau where I was telling you about. This guy's Pick still, it up off the bottom? Yeah. This guy's still got some, some energy. I got bumped, like a real light tap, and I kept, kept the bait moving. And he came in and, and grabbed it. Right, nothing to write home about, that's for dang sure, but a fish nonetheless.
check your line after and make sure no damage. I'm not using a very heavy leader on here. This is my perch slash Xander setup. So yeah, dude, right over here, channel, the edge of the channel, and then another plateau. Fish. Good one. Decent. Still on motor oil? Yeah. I think it's a pike again. Pike. Another pike. Ooh, there's another one behind it. There was another fish behind it, I think. All right, boys, another pike. Not the target species, but we'll take it. Jigs out. I was hoping it was a perch or Xander, but we'll take the pike. Not a big one, guys, but fish. Pike number two. And that wasn't on the bottom. That was up in the water column, right? That no, I, I actually let it sink all the way. Back. Oh, did you? I think I had one. What was it? I don't know. Might have been a perch. It was small, whatever it was was small, but still. Might have been a dink pike, I don't know. But I think I, I think that was a fish, dude. Real small, but still. Never want to lose a fish. There's a perch, boys. Ooh, got him through the eye. That's not cool. It's probably about the size of the one I had on a second ago. All right, boys, first, first perch of the day. Two pike perch. This guy's seen some better days. On the bottom? Yep. Check that out, guys. Nice little perch. Let him go. Let's try to get another one. Right close to you, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, so did the other one that I lost. I think it was probably something about the same size. But I'm ready to move if you want. Yep. Alright guys, we're pulling anchor. Caught a perch and a pike here. Anthony caught a perch, so not a total bust. We're pulling anchor, we're gonna go try a different spot. Seems like the pike, Anthony lost a big pike. It seems like the pike's on today. So, we'll see. We'll keep giving her, see what we get. The goal is a Xander. I've already caught a pike. I've already caught two pike and a perch, so. I just need a Xander to get my raub fish slam, my predatory fish slam, which I got last time in the last video, so. Keep giving her. Dude, killer snack pack, man. You got some nice new additions in there. The nut bars. That's been the best one yet. 
and they're already good to start with. Big perch. Big perch. Yes. Big perch, boys. Ooh. Something just came up and blew up right there. Might have been a pike. Decent perch. Right there, boys. Check that out. Been waiting for one of those all day. Finally got one. Not a monster by any means. We're gonna do a catch and cook with this guy, boys. This is a perfect eating size perch. We're gonna end a dispatch of him, and then we're gonna turn this video into a catch and cook since we've had a little bit of struggle, a little bit of a struggle today getting on the fish. We're gonna turn this into a European redfin perch catch and cook. guys we are off the water now recap two perch two pike not as successful as the uh the last time i was out here but not a total bust either so pulled the kayak out well we have our perch and this perch is going to be our catch and cook our first european perch catch and cook on the channel so stay tuned for that i'm gonna pack up load up and then i will see you guys in the kitchen where i will clean and cook this perch up so let's get it all right guys so we're out here today this is the next day. So you guys watch me. I did some fishing yesterday. Uh, we got home. All I did was I gutted my perch. So you guys will see. All I've done was gutted it. I threw it in the fridge. And that's actually a good technique. Um, if you guys throw it in the fridge, you gut it, put it in the fridge the, the um, overnight. The, the flesh will actually firm up a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier to fillet. So we have our perch here. Actually, let me show you guys what we got. Here is our perch right here. I have my little camping flame here. I got some Frank's Red Hot in this bag. I have my new and improved fillet knives in there. And then I have some Louisiana fish fry. We're gonna go and fry this perch on up. It's actually out here. I'm gonna eat it for lunch today. Let's get right to it. I'm gonna show you guys what I got here for a fillet knife. So this is Rapala. This is an electric fillet knife. So this is my electric fillet knife. ready to go so all I gotta do is put the uh, the blades in there so those blades are in there and as you will see it's ready to roll so batteries charged we're gonna go ahead and fillet this guy up let's go ahead and do that right now guys so there are our two fillets i'm gonna go ahead and rinse them off real quick and then we're gonna get to it all right guys so now we have our two fillets you guys watch me fillet those up and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start we're gonna turn on our burner and uh let me show you guys how i do that
All right, guys. Well, that oil is heating up. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my Frank's Red Hot right here. And I'm going to throw my two fillets into the Frank's Red Hot. Mix it around a little bit. All right, guys. So shake that fish around in the Frank's Red Hot a little bit. Mix it so, it so it's completely covered. Then I have my Louisiana fish fry here. So I'm gonna take the, the fillets out of the Frank's Red Hot and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them into that fish fry. Just like that. Just like that. So now they're in the fish fry and now I'm just gonna get them completely covered and that, that, that Frank's Red Hot acts as a binder. So now, as soon as that oil is warm, these will go in the, in the hot oil. So we're getting there, we're making some progress, boys. It's starting to crack a little bit. The oil's starting to bubble, so that's good. So throw this in here. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. And then I think the oil is about hot enough to start throwing our fish in. So test. All right, guys, that oil is ready. You can see it's starting to pop a little bit. It's starting to start throwing our fillets in there. So two fillets. guys that fish has been on there I don't know four or five minutes now and it's about done so I'm gonna pull it off and then we're gonna go ahead and give her the old taste chest and uh, it's a little chilly out here so eating something nice and warm is gonna be pretty nice right about now so I'm gonna pull these off and then I'm gonna show you what they look like and then we're gonna chow down so let's go let's go so guys that's the finished product right there our European perch fillets and uh, it's about time to give them the old the old taste test. So I'm gonna put them right here and uh, let's go ahead and see what we got here. So the meat is super white, some really white meat right here. Good. And it's nice and warm. It's, it's cold out here today. Yesterday it was cold, but today it's cold and windy and overcast and rainy. But um, having these nice warm European perch fillets out by the water during my during lunch break. This is my lunch break right now. So yesterday went out fishing with my buddy Ant for fishing with friends. Caught some perch, caught some pike, kept the one perch. And uh, it's hot, but it's good. I'll tell you what, for uh, all my American buddies watching back in the States, these European perch are good. They're just like the, what do we got back in the, the yellow perch, these European redfin perch, look at that white meat it's, it's I'm telling you what man it's good and that Frank's red hot with the Louisiana fish fry I'm telling you man it's good that's how I cook most of my fish with Xander I don't always do that way because I don't want it to take away from the flakiness and the the uh Kind of the, the taste of the Xander, you don't need a whole lot. Even with the perch, it's the same way, but God bless, it's good. Look at that, guys. White European perch meat. Made some nice fillets, too. Got two solid fillets from that fish. 
Got to turn my burner off. But that's a fillet right there. That's another fillet. Not bad, guys. I'm telling you. It's good, man. The white meat. You can see it's cold out here with the steam, the, the, the steam coming off, but not a bad way to spend my lunch break today. So yesterday we went out and caught those fish. I put that, I, all I did was gut that perch, put it in the fridge. The meat actually firms up overnight. If you leave it in the fridge and it gets cold, it firms up, it's easier to fillet. And then I brought it to work with, with I brought it to work with me today. Brought my little camping grill, put some pan, put a pan on there with some oil. It's good, boys. Real good. So if you guys like the video, make sure you go down and like it. If you have not subscribed, make sure you guys go down and subscribe now. It's the Fishing Expat YouTube channel. Posting a lot more videos. We're gonna get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. So make sure you guys go and subscribe. I'm gonna sit here and finish this perch. And then I'm gonna take my ass back to work. So stay safe out there. Beautiful Bavaria, Germany. I'll see you guys in the next one.